Have you ever wondered why you can't stop thinking about that one person? It feels magical, right? But here's the kicker. It's not magic at all. Your brain is running a secret algorithm to decide who you fall for. And trust me, it's weirder and more fascinating than you think. All right, let's get one thing straight. Attraction begins and ends in your brain. Scientists say three main systems are at play, lust, attraction, and attachment. It's like your brain is hosting its own reality dating show. Lust kicks in first, driven by hormones like testosterone and estrogen. It's your brain whispering, go find someone. Then comes attraction, the butterflies, the obsession, the daydreaming. This is where dopamine floods your brain, making you feel euphoric, like you're on a high. Finally, there's attachment, the glue that bonds long-term relationships, fueled by oxytocin and vasopressin. Here's the wild part. These systems can work together or completely independently. That's why you can feel lust for one person, attraction for another, and attachment to someone else entirely. So, what makes your brain choose that specific person? Is it their smile, their laugh, their confidence? Yes and no. Turns out, there's a lot happening beneath the surface. Ever noticed you're drawn to people you see often? It's called the mere exposure effect. Your brain loves what it recognizes. That's why childhood friends or co-workers can suddenly become crush material. It's not just them. It's your brain playing tricks on you. Research suggests we're attracted to traits that feel familiar or comforting, even if we don't realize it. For example, People sometimes pick partners who remind them of their parents. Sounds weird, right? But it's not about looks. It's about behaviors, mannerisms, or even emotional patterns we've experienced before. Your brain is hardwired to look for signs of health and good genes. Facial symmetry, clear skin, and body posture send silent signals of fitness. Psychologists call this evolutionary attraction. Basically, your brain is saying, this person might be a good partner for survival. Now let's talk chemistry. When you're crushing hard, your brain releases a cocktail of chemicals that mess with your emotions. Dopamine is the big one. It's the same chemical released when you eat your favorite food, win a game, or achieve a goal. It makes you feel rewarded when you think about your crush. That's why you can't stop replaying moments with them. Then there's no repinephrine, which keeps you on edge. Your heart races, your palms sweat, and suddenly you feel like you're starring in your own rom-com. Lastly, serotonin levels actually drop. This explains the obsessive thoughts. Your brain is literally prioritizing thoughts of your crush over everything else. It's no wonder falling for someone can feel like an addiction, because in a way, it is. But here's where science hits a wall. Attraction isn't just biology, it's also deeply personal and unpredictable. Psychologists call it the X factor. Sometimes, you just click with someone, and even scientists struggle to explain why. Take the famous case of Marilyn Monroe and Arthur Miller. Marilyn, Hollywood's ultimate bombshell, and Arthur, a reserved playwright, seemed like opposites. Yet, they fell deeply in love. Why? Maybe Marilyn admired his intellect, while Arthur was captivated by her depth beneath the glamour. This X factor shows that beyond the chemicals and algorithms, your unique experiences, values, and emotions shape who you're drawn to. Attraction isn't all about appearances. While looks might catch your attention, it's often personality traits like kindness, humor, and confidence that seal the deal. In fact, studies show that when people spend more time with someone, their attraction to that person can grow, even if they didn't find them attractive at first. It's called the slow burn effect, 
and it proves that emotional connections can rewire your brain's perception of someone. So, next time you find yourself daydreaming about your crush, remember, your brain is behind the curtain, pulling the strings. It's a mix of biology, psychology, and that mysterious X factor that makes love so exciting and so complicated. But here's the real takeaway. Attraction might start in your brain, but the relationships you build are up to you. What matters most isn't just who your brain picks, but how you connect, grow, and understand each other over time.